My name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, in this video, I would like to discuss about lookup value based on the instance. I'm sure you all are familiar with VLOOKUP function or HLOOKUP function, which generally supports the lookup value. But VLOOKUP function having a limitation that the value what we are looking for is appearing more than one instance VLOOKUP fail. First, let us look into VLOOKUP function case study. Then we'll try to understand in case of more than one instance, how we can handle. Let me explain you how VLOOKUP function work. I've taken the data where two fields are there, company and sales. In company, there are three unique companies are there, Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. The respective sales figures are given. Based on the company which I select here, I should get the sales figure here. That is what the problem statement. I'm sure in this case, we all have to use VLOOKUP function because VLOOKUP function is a one which looks for the value in the leftmost column of this table. If it is available, the respective value from the second column, it will pick up. So let me write the function equal to VLOOKUP. What is the lookup value? This is what the company I want to look. Where is the table? This is what my table is, comma. What is the column index number? That means in this table, which column value you want to get as an answer? My answer is there in the second column, comma. Though fourth argument is optional, but in this case, I am looking for the text value. I want to get the exact match. So either you can write false or I can keep zero close bracket. Once I enter, Excel will take Google. It looks into this column. If it is available, the respect to second column value, it's going to pick up. Wow. If you change this value, let me take it Microsoft. Let me take it Facebook. Let me take it Google back. This is what VLOOKUP function does. I'll do a small modification to this data. What I'll be doing, I'll insert one more row. Let me get the details down. Now here, I'll put one more Google. Let's say this is 500. Now if I select Google here, it's already there. It is taking 167. But if I want to get the second instance number, is it possible? No. That is what the limitation of the VLOOKUP function. If the lookup value is more than once, VLOOKUP will always pick up the first instance, but it will not go into the second or third instance. Let me look into the case study. This is what the case study I would like to explain. In this case, the same two fields are there, company, sales, but the company values of Microsoft, Google, Facebook repeated more than one instance and the respective sales figures are there. While we are taking the input, I have taken company, instance, company dropdown, instance dropdown is there. Based on these two parameters, I should get the sales. That means just to give you as an example, let me take Microsoft, one Microsoft first time, here it is there, I want to get 343. If I take two, I should get second time Microsoft is here, 490 and so on. How we can handle this? Of course, not by using VLOOKUP function. Office 365 introduced many beautiful functions. In this case, I would like to use the function called filter. I'm sure you all are aware filter feature, but here we are talking about the filter function. Let me write the formula here equal to filter. There are three arguments in the filter. Array, include, if empty is there, what value you want to get? Array is nothing but the data which I want to filter. This is what the data I want to filter, comma. What do you want to include? Include must be the Boolean. So I want to look into this column for this value. If it is available, it's going to give me true, otherwise false at the back end. So if you can decode this using shortcut F9, you will find true false. So Excel gonna give me all those true instance rows out of this data. 
Since third argument is optional, I can simply close this. Now you can easily guess what data it's going to display. It is going to display data only belongs to the Facebook. Let me enter. If I just change this from the drop down here, Microsoft, all the Microsoft data it has given me. But now I don't want the first column, but I want to get only the second column while having the filter. It's very simple. Instead of taking the array, the entire table, now I'll be only taking the sales column. So what Excel does using the filter function, it will filter the sales column, looking into this column, wherever the Microsoft is matching, only those instances will get filter. If I enter only the sales figures belongs to the Microsoft will appear. Great. Now the job is I want to get the third instance value out of these five instances. I want to get the third position out of this data. In Microsoft Excel, there is a beautiful and powerful function called index. I'm sure you all are aware of the index function. If not, let me explain. Index is a function which can result a value from a table based on the row number and column number. In this case, let's say this is the table having only one column, having many rows. I want to get the third position row. So one, two, three. Third row, first column value out of this data is 932. So index is going to give me 932. If I write here two, index gonna give me second row value out of this data that is 490. So what I'll be doing on top of this, let me write a function called index. Out of this entire result, give me this row reference value. Since third column is optional because it is in the square bracket, you can ignore. If I enter, I'll be getting the second position value out of this entire range. Wow. When I write your three, I'll get the third position out of the Microsoft sales. If I write four, I'll get the fourth position out of the Microsoft sales. If I write five here, I'll get the fifth position out of the Microsoft sales. If I just go and change this to Google, I'm getting the reference error. Is it something I went wrong? No, because Google fifth instance is not there in the main data. So in, in this case, I would like to use a function called if error. So I can simply go here, if error, if this entire data is in error, then give me zero. Great, enter. Since fifth instance of the Google is not there, zero. Fifth instance of the Facebook is also not there, zero. I'm sure first instance of the Facebook is there. You can have second instance, you can have third instance, you can have fourth instance. No, fourth instance is also not available. Hence, I got the result as zero. Now what I'll be doing, I'll simply copy this formula. I'll just go here, I will paste here. Now you can change the values here. I want to get Google second instance I want to get Microsoft second instance. I want to get Microsoft first instance. It absolutely matches. I want to get the formula text here. Of, in fact, Microsoft version 2013 introduced a function called formula text. This function is very much helpful whenever you want to see the formula within the cell. Just close bracket, enter. If I enter, whatever the formula in this cell, it's going to display as a text. That's all in this video. See you all in the next video with most interesting content. Consider subscribing this channel. Thank you.